profitblog.com. Hi, it's Ed from ProfitBlog.com. In this video, we're going to go over installing the NextGen Gallery plugin. The NextGen Gallery plugin is a fully integrated image gallery plugin for WordPress with dozens of options and features. From the plugin directory, click on the link. And when the page reloads, you can review the plugin description, how to uh, install, FAQs, screenshots. To download, click on download version 1.8.3. Save it, and once it's downloaded, switch over to your WordPress install. From the dashboard, go to Plugins, then Add New, then Upload, then Browse, select your plugin, then Open, then Install Now. When the page reloads, Click Activate Plugin. Once the plugin has been activated, you can adjust the settings by going to the Gallery tab and proceeding down the list. From the overview, you can see what uh, images you have uploaded, galleries, or albums. To start with a new gallery, you can start by clicking on Upload Pictures. Give your gallery a new name. And click Add Gallery. You can also add images to the gallery by zip file or by importing a folder from your web server. Now we can select the gallery to import images into and click Upload Images. Or actually, click Browse Images first and then select the images you want to upload and click open and then click upload images it'll go through its upload process once the images have been uploaded you can go to the overview and then you can add and manage your galleries from the manage gallery tab you can see your new test gallery you can click on it and you can adjust the settings you can set what page it links to so for example if you want to attach this new gallery to the portfolio page we can attach it to portfolio page and make it add a new page click add page and then save changes we can now preview this gallery on this newly created page So we can go to Portfolio or New Test Gallery where it was created. And then you see the slideshow. If we go back to the dashboard, we can adjust the album. We can also add tags. You can check the general options and you can the default settings that come with it are okay and set and good to go. You can adjust these if you want to change the size of the thumbnails or the default images, some settings for the gallery, different effects if you want a shutter or a light box. And always remember to click on save changes once you've made any type of edits to the dashboard. You can include a watermark and you can also tell it how do you want the slideshow to display. You can adjust the settings, transition fade, circles or background color and save changes. You can adjust the style sheet. Um, I wouldn't recommend touching the style sheet unless you're familiar with CSS code. And all of the other settings can be left in the default status. You can adjust the roles. 
And if you need it to completely reset, you can also uninstall from this last reset uninstall tab. For specific tags to use for the next gen gallery, please refer back to the plugin directory and the FAQ section where you can see how to uh, call these slideshows on the fly with a specific code. For more blogging tips, please visit profitblogs.com.